Oh, never mind. We're good. Oh, oh shit. The whore doesn't die, but I do die. Nice. Look at that, my infantry is like exiting the city. I guess this is gonna be the like faster way to get here. They actually held them at the choke point. Amazing. I forgot to execute Ragnar. So I should do that now. If I actually caught him and he didn't escape. Ice Bjorn. And apparently he did escape already. Yeah, they took off castle. That guy's actually besieging Wercheck. Nice. Uh, let's give it out to. I don't think I gave. Okay, Velas. Let's give Velas this one. Right, there should be another policy that gives us more troops, if I remember. If I could actually remember which one it was. Or mm, maybe I got them both. I'm not actually sure. Okay, dungeon? Of course not. Guess we're gonna sell them all. Should check some. Okay, that's that's yeah, that's fine. Seems a little bit weird. Okay, now. Okay, they're besieging that. Let's go further down then. Get this done and over with. Yeah, we're gonna go to war with it. Let's actually check immediately who has the like most strength. Northern Empire, 6k, Western Empire, shit. Batania's wrecked. Guess. Yeah, it looks like the. Never mind, the Valandians are the best, apparently. Still. I guess they are the biggest counter though, because the crossbowmen are kind of outranges and they do a shitload of damage. I'm gonna actually like join the siege and help them out because they might just abandon the siege at any point. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, you gather enough troops, come with me. Just in case. Oh no. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it there in time. We might. If that was close. Look at that, some resistance. Um, resistance. Not much, but some. I 
This is interesting. I think this is the first time we're fighting on this map and we're not like fighting downhill. Yeah, the archers are non-existent, so let's, well, they have 65 archers, so let's move up. I was surprised the battalion uh, nobles don't just inst insta give them. Once they get up, the, up close like that. Imperial cataphrag my ass. Damn, the skirmisher guy is annoying. Okay, apparently they're coming at us. Kind right, no. Let's move up a little bit more. Funny how the fucking shield wall doesn't stop. Then we have. We know like most of them have spears as well. Notice that their reinforcements spawn in. I have no clue where though. Looks like most of these are just mercenaries. Yep.
Okay, so we don't need... How the hell did I get that much much money? <laughs> I'm not even sure. I don't think I was selling off anything. They definitely changed something around the one, version 1.7.0. 1 get a ton of money from by nowhere. Okay, that should be it when it comes to their armies, more or less. They only have one way out. Once they get over there, then that's it. Oh, fuck. Now, that's why I don't like holding a... Territory that's not your own culture. It just constantly rebels. No matter fucking what. I even put like a governor that's really high level uh, and uh, their own culture still that they rebelled. is going to declare war on us. Uh, that may be an issue. I mean... Uh, yeah. hmm. I mean, I can stand to lose a couple settlements or cities. I don't care. As long as we secure the north. bunch they are them like the look at that the same castle again or city uh they have uh, a pretty decent amount of inf of troops on the field uh, unless well only the valandians have more are sure shit compared to the spears to be honest yep at least the air is not gonna fuck up the siege or it can't
Mm, we're actually not losing that many, considering. Considering this should be their capital, right? Okay, I'm I am gonna keep this for myself though. This is gonna be mine. Manage down, place her in there. Everything else is built up. Let's just dump a bunch of money in there as well. Hopefully the Northern Empire is not just going to rush Vercheg now. Well, what they probably are. That's what the AI is going to do. For sure. You yeah, don't have Ragnar in prison. Uh, unfortunately when I do take over a castle it's also like the walls are destroyed as well so it's even easier to like take Follow Marshall. Look at this. Look at. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I do wonder if, like. Uh, probably not. I was thinking if they have like enough here to actually like attack me. Doesn't seem like it though. Average day, average days until the food runs out. Never. Good diddly job lead. Good 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 lead day two. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Thank you. It's going well so far. Until the Northern Empire starts wrecking us. And plus, this city up there rebelled. Well, what should we can do about that? No, I'm fine. My sleep schedule is a bit rough, but everything else is good. Like when I say sleep schedule, I mean like I go to sleep like in 2 in the morning and I wake up at 7. If I have somewhere to be. Something to do. I wish you could, you could actually like bait all of them or like actually no like if I let them all uh, run into the city that would be a pain in the ass because there's gonna be a thousand and more troops in there then so that wouldn't be enjoyable
Well enough if they actually created an army and uh, went for a word check, they could probably take it. Unfortunately, I don't think the AI, like, I think the AI has, uh, like, influence problem as well, so they can just outright just, you know, grad gather all of them into a party. Especially since uh, they're all, like, under the, like, 40% strength. So you can actually call them into a party. But it would be pretty fucking cool if you could actually like annex them outright, like give them an ultimatum. Surrender your land and incorporate into us and you're gonna live. <laughs> They are just going from that village over there to see if they can pick up troops. But they ain't really working out for them. Okay, let's knock them out. Then just one more castle. That's gonna be it for them. This is the third city that's literally the same layout. Yes. What can you do? Like turn off the realistic battle you uh, AI mod because I'm pretty sure you could have, you could have used two shields, one on your back and one on like in your hand. I think that the mod changed that round. They want to kill off this amount of them, so we actually have a number advantage. Then I'm gonna move my infantry in. Oh no 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 no! You stay there. You go up down. Let's see, maybe I can force the infantry to come here. Seems like I can, if I don't die here. Which I might. So 
So the archers have something to shoot at. I'm so surprised the trebuchets aren't getting any kills, man. Come on. Okay, this is gonna take forever because uh, you can't really do shit to shields anymore. Take forever to actually destroy him. I see why they get stuck here. Don't tell me there's another way to get in here. Or is that just on a stuck... I think that those are just stuck enemies there. Look at that, it's gonna take forever for them to actually break through that. They just get stuck there. Yeah, hey, what's up, Sammy? You're a bit late. Surgeons only have one castle left. Yeah, look at that. Like the highest tier infantry they can break to. Well, I guess that's because they have swords and axes, right? They need access to chop down the shields of the enemies. I'm actually considering uh, grabbing the the Unified Empire mod, or see, or I want to see if it works. Like the Unified Empire mod with the Samurai mod. So maybe I'll do that next. Like, uh, see if I can take down the Empire. With guns, of course. As a samurai. I mean, what, I'm not sure if the mods were, are gonna gel well together. We'll see. And I did watch the Carthaginian troops video from Jackie Fish. That was pretty good. I'm not actually sure how they're gonna get so many like different cult uh, like troop trees in though. Yeah, you accepted the challenge, I remember. And then you, did you win the challenge? Complete the challenge? I like it, let's just... Speed this up a little bit.
like it seems like they've broken through. And I did download Warband, so I should be working on the mod for Prophecy or the sub mod for Prophecy. Well, modification on Prophecy of Pandora pretty soon as well. I'm not sure if I have enough, so let's make another one. For the governors here. So, by the end of the month, I should start a warband playthrough as well. Hopefully, if everything goes to plan. I'm surprised there was only one lord in the castle, to be honest. thousand out to 2500 k uh, troop armies well that's to be expected i guess so it can work with like other mods it just unifies the empire okay that's good to know i guess the problem then is because they're unified they can be at war with any faction because they bother everyone you're not safe ever. Yeah, that may be tricky. I guess the only like uh, saving grace is the uh, skirmisher cav then at that point. And picking them all from a distance. He's the guy I just maybe I just created maybe yeah he is and you won but oh how skirmish you can right we reenacted the awful loss the Roman Empire had in the when they moved in to attack the Sassanids. No, not Sassanids. Wrong time period. Parthia, right? And they got wrecked by the Cataphracts and Skirmish Cav. IRL. <laughs> And then they figure out, oh, infantry can't really do well against horsemen because they run away on open fields, at least. I oh, didn't want to execute Ragnar, but uh, I forgot to. And he ran away like a bitch. Or escaped like a bitch. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. So let's pick this guy out and tell him to camp in there. New assignment for you. Can't, can't you tell him to like go to a city, a specific city? I 
I'll retake the... Oh, so basically the, what I did like in the last playthrough, right? Just retaking the Republic. But with city and troops, right? <laughs> or no, Roman troops, but you know, as Scythians, as a traitor. Apparently that's not a thing anymore. That's fucking weird. I was thinking we can actually get like get them to stay in the city like you used to be able to do normally in Warband, just tell them to like sit there. Let's actually see what happens. Make peace with Sturgeon. Nope. Right, I do have to like... No. I only have one castle left. Right, let me show you the map. Uh, CN on and the... Uh, Caravan ban set. Revolted. So, like, I'm not gonna keep holding that. The motherfuckers, look at that. Surprisingly, this. I was thinking that the Northern Empire was the strongest faction, but surprise? Well, 9k now. But usually the Valandians have the most troops. Have you actually managed to form an alliance ever with the diplomacy mod? Because it seems like you need to like kiss ass, kiss every lord's ass since like you start the campaign, just do missions for them. It's like have a hundred relations with everyone in the faction, which is kind of annoying. Oh, they only have seven days of food. They're dead meat. So charge them taken by fifty percent. I think the speed damage bonus is going to be better. Uh, Cartage does look fine in the the trailer, the uh, not trailer, the video Jackie Fish made. It's going to be even better than taking taking them out when they are all fleshed out. Right, maybe I should have uh, moved that to reserves. I did download the updated version of uh, the realistic battle AI. And uh, does say like they fixed sieges and they did not. Alright, did you did you notice the name of the Empire? That's what the game selected. Empire of Bullion. We're gonna bully everyone into submission. No, no, no. We might have lost the teal over there. Tear. I think we're actually gonna starve them out before we actually destroy the walls. Yeah. You would like it at least.
Uh, we did uh, look at uh, Realm 2 DVD and Impera mod as well. I think I'm gonna do a playthrough on it because it does seem interesting because you have to like manage populations, population tiers and supplies and all that. It actually makes the game diff well not difficult but interesting and like difficult like um well not like as hard uh, hard in the beginning but like challenging later on as well not just piss easy once you actually you know get your shit together in the beginning like all games these days even this there's no resistance anymore They want to starve some of them out. Okay, apparently, they didn't take tear teal yet. There's char. <laughs> did you uh, do you recruit? Uh, Spearmen into your infantry as well, or do you just go with legionaries? Imagine if you, imagine if I have a shitload of spears, like in front of the shield wall as well, like the Braveheart scene. Well, that would have been something. Oh shit! Right. That was close. How the hell does he think he's gonna get out of here? Alive. Right, and I do wanna play, like, I do wanna play Empire Rising again, just because uh, I installed the Realistic battle AI module, battle AI, better AI module, whatever it's called. It makes the the infantry fight so much better. Since they actually like kind of stay information and all that. Looks so good. Place at the front. Yup. It would be funny if you actually like place stakes, like in medieval too, if you remember that. Or the archers can place stakes uh, for um, uh, cab charges. I guess that would only make sense if you're the defending army. Okay, last battle of the campaign, more or less. I might play a little bit more so we can uh, destroy the Western Emp Northern Empire. Okay, this one shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, and by the way, you do want to play Valheim? Or some other game? We can schedule like a day to play it or something. Do David A. and Tempera Rome 2 co op? That would be interesting. Or head to head. Actually, head to head it would be too difficult, I guess. Because you couldn't like get out of the way, like your first couple of cities. Oh, 
Wait, there's not gonna be much stopping us once we get in. I could just actually move the archers in as well. Come on, horse. I know you can get up there. What the fuck was that? Do they have a catapult? Try and get the archers like here. Okay. This like isn't even a castle battle at this point. This is just a line battle in in a castle. Yep. Look at this. Oh, you sneaky fuck. I got took, taken out by a fucking hammer, man. I'm a disgrace. That's all she wrote for them, more or less. Catch Ragnar though. Okay, is it possible that there's a castle that's fully built up? There's nothing else to build? Right, this one probably didn't get touched ever. So that's why it's cool. So let me actually check something now. Can we actually see if. Okay, part of. Or with Sergio? Okay, so he's not there. Now I kind of want to want to piece them out because um, I'd have to catch them all and kill them all to actually destroy the faction. Probably a pain in the ass. Actually, with look at that, we managed to hold on to that. Not this though. I'm gonna let my companion go. Let's see this. I'm definitely interested in David 8, but I did play it like a long ass time ago. Probably 2017, 16, something like. Like once the mod came out. I think we're gonna need to help our friend over here. I guess, yeah, sure. Let's piece him out. I'm 
This is still in a rebellion. But uh, David in Paris definitely gonna make the game more fun. Because Rome 2 is pretty bland. I mean, it's pretty freaking easy. Once you actually get your shit together in Italy. You get public holder under control and your borders under control as well. I've been playing some... Uh, Uh, Caesar in goal a couple of days ago. It's pretty fucking easy once you actually get the two or three armies until one like a uh, shit stack appears out of nowhere behind your lines and sacks a city or something. place governor here In the Amazon mod well, isn't there like the sea uh, what's it called uh, daughters of Mars DLC for the game or is, or is that Attila no oh, I think it I think it's Rome Total War 2. Where you can like recruit the uh, female gladiators, if I can remember. What female legionaries though. I love it looks nice. I've been playing a lot of Under Rail as well. It's, uh, talking about Banlord. Oh. Well, do, do, do they look like women? With all the armor on, at least? Or is it like a, like the beginning of this playthrough where I like a, I can slap on the Valkyrie armor? I look ridiculous. Okay, there. That's it, basically. That's the goal for this. We took out. Well, we didn't kill Ragnar, but we took out the Sturgeon faction, more or less. I do, I do wish, funnily, funnily enough, the Northern Empire is the only one, or the closest one who, who, who like, want an alliance. But nope. As I should, like, uh, try and do, uh, as, a, as a king, I should go and do his bitch work, be, uh, be his bitch. And do the bitch work so I can I get peace with him. Right? Ah shit, they were just besieging that as well. Yeah, okay, might check it out. I mean, it actually gives me an idea for a playthrough, kind of. Be the king pimp of all the older ladies. Right? We just have a faction. Troops deserted. What?
All right, I place one of my companions in. Right. Jesus Christ. Just a minute to update. Like, be the king pimp of all the Amazonians. Where does their faction actually start as well? Battalion? Oh, let's piss me off. Let's go kill that, and that's gonna be it for today. Actually. If I could remember these names, that would be perfect. I'm gonna give them out these three. And I'm just gonna hold the north. And then just make two. two so, yeah, three more clans and three more companions. Yeah, run inside of there. Stay there. You should look at them. Now, did anyone ever see the enemies sally out? No, no, there is a mod that actually gives them a faction. Well, one of the mods gives them a faction or a kingdom. But did you did anyone ever see the AI Are you dumb fuck? The AI actually sell you out in a battle. That's what I wanna know. Sell you out from a castle or a siege because uh, they outnumbered me by two hundred troops, they should have been able to take me out. Yeah, I'm, I will, I'm, I'm playing a lot of Underrail, but uh, since Underrail is uh, a spiritual successor, successor to Fallout 2, it's not very graphically demanding. I usually watch YouTube videos and do other stuff. Well, by the way, other stuff. I mine crypto while playing the game because I can actually do it. They are half militia. Oh shit. I mean, hey man. Just ha I just uh, have 3,000 militia and attack the enemy, right? Yeah, another funny thing. Uh, 